the then 49ers, 49ers are playoff bound, if not Super Bowl I, no, contenders. No, they're Super Bowl contenders. No, no. They have yes, to be. They are. They, they are. They have to be. They are. I've seen the past couple it's games. Why y'all? Dude, they, they don't have that. McCaffrey. The you're kicker got off, hurt. You're going Is off McCaff- the past couple that's, games. Thank you for helping me. Is McCaffrey coming back? Straight to the action, there's a lot going on. Try to lock these predictions down, right? Call me John. I'ma talk to Jared, cause he might keep me calm. Had my top pick for this week, but he bombed. Caleb said he had a weak week, but he's strong. Jonathan said he repeat, now it's on. In love with the game, who you got? Can I wait? Drop by by the dorm, come and watch, it's the babe. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dorm Debate Podcast, and welcome to our week five episode. Episode five of the Dorm Debate Podcast, and we are about a quarter of the way through the 2024-2025 NFL season. It, it's flying by. It's sad, but it's also fun because we have some of the best football coming up. And this week we had the London game, so we had football from 9 a.m. or 9:30 a.m. Eastern all the way until 11:30 p.m. when this night game. Uh, ends with the Cowboys and Steelers. So even though we're a quarter of the way through, we have so much football left. We have another London game next week, um, and we had some great games. We had the Bengals-Ravens. That was an all-time classic, highest-scoring game in Bengals-Ravens series history. The 49ers lose to the Cardinals, which is crazy. Uh, Giants won on a blocked field goal. Uh, John, you got to be hype about oh, yeah. that. Let's go. Um, I mean, this is just crazy football going on. So this episode, you're, you, you guys are in for a treat. We have an NFL team's tier list through a quarter of the season. We are going to rank every single NFL team. The tier list starts off with Super Bowl contender right at the top. Playoff bound, playoff bubble. Mid and buns. If you know us, we use buns as a term to just mean you are absolutely bad. Uh, I could use other words, but just bad. Your buns, your cheeks, your 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 booty cheeks. Yep. (laughs) So uh, mid is what it says. You're you're just mid. You're you're not uh, playoff bound. You're not wild card bound. But you're also not uh, terrible enough to get like a top five pick. Playoff bubble means wild card, uh, potentially. Playoff bound means you're definitely making the playoffs, and then Super Bowl contender speaks for itself. So I say we get right into it. We're going to go through the divisions to make it easier um, for the viewers and for us, and we're going to start with the AFC East. So the AFC East right now goes as follows. We have the Bills at 3-2, and the Jets at 2-3, and the Dolphins at two and three, and the Patriots at one and four. So let's start off with the Dolphins, guys. The Dolphins are two and three. They actually just got a win over the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Um, Tyler Huntley is currently at the helm. We don't know when Tua will be back. Thoughts on the Dolphins? If I want to give my two cents before this, I would say that they are in the mid category. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. They're just mid right now, especially with Huntley at quarterback, and we don't know when Tua's coming back. I mean, it's almost going to be too late for when Tua comes back. How many Tua more games can you lose? Yeah, too late. Um, so I'm definitely going mid here. Jonathan? I'm going to go ahead and go Buns. Yes, really? They beat the Patri- wow. Yeah. Yes, they beat the Patriots today, but they're a struggling team. They're inconsistent. They got you know a little lucky today. It was really close. They're not. They're not a good team. They're gonna. I actually. Gonna I gonna don't do mind it. putting them in buns. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm. This is not a, a battle I want to fight anyway. Yeah. No. But it's not a battle. A chain got fight. hurt today. Like that was terrible. A chain was a big part oh, of their yeah. offense. He's out. So Ty- Tyreek hasn't been getting the ball. He only got 69 yards today. Tyreek's their best player, and they haven't been able to utilize him at all these past few weeks. And do you think that when continuous? I mean. They're not going to do yeah, it. Yeah, but don't. But player. if Tua comes back, don't you, you still, think they're? Yeah, you still think like, they're like, oh, guys, 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 I hate to break it to you, Tua's not coming back. <laughs> not this season. He's not coming back. It's over. There's so there, like he has a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah, he's not coming back. He's a lot to think about. Can't, can't even regarding think. industry. Yeah, he's not going to do it. He's not going to come back. All right. Some people well, are even saying retire. The people are saying retire. At least give him the rest of the season. He's not coming back. 
No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bank on that. I wouldn't use that. So to, if uh, we keep, say, oh, if we no. come on, if we keep Hunley in there, I w- I would say Buns as well. Yeah, I would say Buns. All right, we'll the, transfer the to offense, Buns. The offense is built for Tua, not for Tyler Huntley. And all right, let's go. That. All right, that's fair. Jonathan, you convinced me. Let's go to the New York <laughs> Jets. The New York Jets had a London game this week and uh, lost to the Vikings in a close game. Uh, but they are two and three, second in the AFC East. Um, I'm going to put them, honestly, I had them winning the division at the beginning of the year. I'm going to put them as playoff bound. I still think they're going to make the playoffs comfortably, meaning like they can still fight for the division and they can still get a wild card. I think they are, they're in a comfortable spot. I just They just need to get the chemistry right. But I think playoff bound is is where I would put them. I am a little bit more pessimistic on them. I'd say playoff bubble just because they did lose to the Vikings and they got to play the Bills next. Then they got to play the Steelers, Texans. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are not easy games. So it's like, how much longer can you go without having that chemistry? Like, yeah, I agree. They're starting. It seems like they're starting to get it together, but it's, it's going to be too little too late unless you start going. And the AFC is competitive. So I wouldn't say comfortably. So I would say playoff bubble. Okay. I agree. I would say playoff bubble. Mm. Um, you know, they've lost a few games this season, but the only one that was kind of a double digit loss was the 49ers game. The rest have been pretty close. It could have gone either way. It's still the beginning of the season. We're heading towards yeah. mid, but it's still the beginning of the season. And so they're still finding that chemistry, like Jared said. Um, I will say Aaron Rodgers is definitely not the same. They gave him 54 chances to throw the ball and do something today. He was 20, 29 out of 54. Yeah. Had three interceptions, three big turnovers, and they lost by six points. One of those turnovers could have gave him extra points, right, to win the game. So that's that's huge. And so you we were saying that Aaron Rodgers is simply not the same. And you guys in the beginning of the season were saying, yeah, this, this is definitely a Super Bowl contender. We're not there. It's, it's playoff bubble at this point. It's playoff bubble. Yeah. I was yeah. definitely wrong about them. I, we'll put them in playoff bubble. Um, New York Jets playoff bubble. How about the Patriots? Buns. 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 Steamy buns. hot buns. Buttery. Buns. And the <laughs> buttery. Uh, and the Buffalo Bills. Just so like Ramondre Stevenson's hands. Buttery. Oh my gosh. Fumble in every play. <laughs> Fumbles every game. Exactly. Uh, Buffalo Bills. They're number one in the division. Uh, I would go playoff bound. Yep. Playoff bound. Bills? Yeah. Yeah, yeah playoff bound. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now we're on to the AFC North. Let's start off with the Baltimore Ravens. They are currently the second in second place, but the Steelers haven't played their game while well, uh, as the time that we're filming. So right now it goes Steelers three and one, Ravens three and two. Um so Baltimore Ravens, guys, are we looking at Super Bowl contender? Because I would put them there. Jonathan, you could go well. ahead. I'd put them what? there as well. Yes, yeah. so Super yeah. I've seen enough of these guys. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll put them there. Okay. But they're they're uh, they're gonna be on the low end of that for me. Just oh, because. Okay. Yeah, they won the game against the Bengals, but Lamar had a huge mistake at the end. And if the Bengals snap uh, the holder, if the holder didn't botch that, then we yes. we would have been talking like, oh wow, the 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 Ravens lost to the Bengals, like a one and three team. So it's like Lamar is still in these late game situations, but I'll, I'll put him as Super Bowl contenders. Yeah, I mean every every division game is always t- difficult, so Bengals, Bengals are going to give them their best every time. But Derrick Henry That's makes true. them look like a completely different animal. These Ravens look dangerous. Yeah. Um, let's look at the Cleveland Browns. They lost again today uh, to the Commanders. Jaden Daniels absolutely diced them up. Absolutely diced them up. So they are one and four now. Um, it, it pains me to say this, and it's crazy that a team this talented is is in buns, but I think they're in buns. Oh, yeah. This team is so buns. Yeah, they're in buns. I agree. Okay, yeah. sweet. Caleb would definitely vote buns on that one. He's probably oh, proud yeah. that we did that. <laughs> Caleb <laughs> makes that as clean sweep. <laughs> um, and then we have the uh, the other one and four team, 
in the AFC North. The Cincinnati Bengals got very, very unlucky today. Uh, McPherson missed a field goal in overtime that could have won it. Could easily be two and four, uh, but they are one and four, uh, or easily be two and three. The Bengals, for me, are one of those teams that you just I just can never count them out. Like no matter how yeah. bad they start, I always feel like they're gonna figure it out. So for me, I still can see playoff bubble for me. I still yeah. can see them when <laughs> they're one and four, exactly like the Browns. But I see more optimism in that team. The way Jamar Chase is playing, T. Higgins starting to to really warm up in this season. Um, Burrow finally getting comfortable. I feel like it's like it's it's there. It's just they're not winning games. But I can yeah. see the vision. So I want I I want to put them in playoff bubble. Yeah, I would say playoff bubble too. Just because that offense is so strong and so yeah. good that you feel like they could win any game and it's possible. So. I mean, they have some easy games coming up. I wouldn't say easy because nothing's easy, but they do play the Giants next week at MetLife. I mean, that's no, that's not easy ba- based on how the Giants played today. But I do think that the Bengals. I, I don't. I there's no way you can, can confidently say they're going to make the playoffs, but I think they could push for a wild card spot. Hmm. I mean, I'll have to. I mean, I'll have to kind of side with these like guys i guess but i i would call them still i'd call them mid okay they're in a huge okay. hole right now they're in a huge pickle and it's gonna be tough to get out of that pickle okay the ravens are strong the steelers are playing pretty strong even though their quarterback situation has been shaky they have an excellent defense i could see them getting lucky and potentially making the playoffs but i still call them mid um, so if they, they so get in, if they get in it's just luck <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because look at the other divisions. Like we have a lot of like like the Jets schedule, Broncos. I'm looking at all the teams that could get second. Yeah, it would be luck. It would be luck. They have to. I mean, the good the fall. good thing things have to work in their favor. Go ahead. Yeah, the good thing is in that division. Let's just say Cowboys beat the Steelers. That's Steelers three and two. Ravens three mm-hmm. and two. And then mm-hmm. Browns and Bengals one and four, so they're only two games out. Um, only two, Jared. This they, is the NFL. This is huge business. That's not just two. <laughs> it takes a lot no, to win but, a game. You but see they, that? I, they've only it's had one division game, so they still play. They still play the Steelers twice. They played the Ravens once. They play the Browns twice. Like they still got a lot of divisional yeah, still games got, left. Yeah. Like, I think there's time for the them to make it up. Yeah, they, they have, they're going to have trouble against the Steelers because the Steelers' defense is good. So their defense is gonna have to step up to the table, which they can't. They're gonna yeah. lose to the Steelers twice. Well, that's the thing. Once that, that that's the thing about the Bengals. If they can start getting momentum, that's the thing. Like they have the pieces. They're just not playing together right now. Exactly. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. But they're, right. they're digging. They keep on digging themselves in a hole. So that's yeah, why I they do. Mid, but hey, for the sake of this, I can. I guess. Hey, if they if they lose to the Giants next week, yep, yeah, mid. Oh yeah, yeah. You you would be right, Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, the last team is the team that's in first currently, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. They're playing the Cowboys right now. Um, it's crazy to say, but I, I think they would be playoff bubble. It's They're, they're for dang sure not buns, because <laughs> if you're going to have a definition in the dictionary of mid, it's the Steelers. They are going to be above 500 or around yeah. 500. So... I'm looking at either mid or playoff bubble and the the hot start that they've had. Hopefully they don't lose the Cowboys because then we, I look bad. But I think if they beat the Cowboys and start, uh, what would they start, 4-1, f- and one, I think that would mm-hmm. propel them to the playoff bubble. So I would I would lean them towards the playoff bubble right now. Yeah, I would, I would say the same. Um, I don't think they're going to end up winning the division. They, it's possible. But like you said, Mike Tomlin, they're going to be 500 or just over that, and that's good enough to probably get you a 5, 6, or 7. Yeah. Hmm. The quarterback's the issue, Jonathan. The quarterback's the issue, yeah. I'm thinking about that. I, Jared, you're changing your tune. I thought Justin Fields was like the next thing, next big thing. Justin I said for, playoff bubble. Just, Playoff bubble for somebody that's like a prodigy. <laughs> and I didn't say prodigy. I just say he's better than Sam Darnold. It's not a lot. <laughs> it's not, you know, still okay. he's okay. still average. 
Okay, I, I mean, I'll see this as a, this is a strong playoff bubble. They're 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 leaning close to playoff bound a little bit, but you have to say it's this very strong playoff bubble for this okay. team. Yeah. Playoff okay. bubble. All right, we're moving to AFC South. AFC South is the Texans at four and one, Colts at two and three, Titans at one and three, and Jags at one and four. Just got their first win. Uh, let's look at the Colts. Uh, at two and three, they now have Joe Flacco at the helm. Who knows when Anthony Richardson will be back playing? But it looks like they're almost better. Right? Like, do you put Richardson <laughs> back in? <laughs> like, I mean, Flacco just had thirty-four points. It seems like all these receivers are coming to life. Alec Pierce I mean, is is coming to life. Mo Ali Cox got a touchdown. I mean, I mean it's, shit. I I would um, I would. St- oh man. You know what? I got. Uh, oh man, there. All right, where I'll would go where first. would you guys I'll go first? Yeah, yeah where would you guys? Okay. It's tough for me. No, for me this is easy. They fit right into the mid. Are they mid? <laughs> yeah, they're mid, dude. They're not, dude. Their defense is buns. The only reason they're at mid is because their offense. They actually have some pieces on offense. I would say I'll still put them in playoff bubble. Okay, dude, really. <laughs> How can they make the playoffs? They can make a wild card if With they want a few more team? games. And Joe Flacco can do that. Joe Flacco can do that. That's why, to answer Jared's question, it's okay to say, hey, we made a mistake in rushing Anthony Richardson to start. Let's let him continue to develop, learn from Joe Flacco. But he is our future. He's still very young. He's, he is our future. But, yeah, put Joe Flacco in there. The team is better, clearly. And I think they'll win a few more games and play off bubble. Yeah, they could, they could or could not. Wow, okay. Play. Uh, I can't side with you on that one, Jonathan. Unfortunately, <laughs> I was deciding between buns or mid. So if you said buns, I was gonna go with buns. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna split the difference and go with mid. So they're our first. So that's mid our team. Fist, first mid team. Okay. Yep. Now the Jacksonville Jaguars just got their first win. Trevor Lawrence on his birthday played extremely well. Um, yeah, I think it was twenty. 25- Fifth, twenty-five. Yep. Um, wow. he seems older, honestly. But yeah, he looks older. Um, I'm gonna put the Jags in buns. They have a lot of talent, and on paper, you could maybe convince me that they're not buns. Uh, but I think they're one in ten in their last ten games. So yeah. I just can't do it. I'm gonna say buns. Yeah. Yep. They're they're complete buns right now. Their offense isn't even that good. Defense is so buns. They are bottom of the barrel right now. Yeah, I mean, but I put them in the same category as the Bengals in the sense that whoa, they could turn whoa, things around. No, whoa, no, whoa, no. whoa, 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 They could whoa, turn things around. Bubble? They could turn things around. Well, no, no. Well, I'm in the sense that they could turn things around. And I'd call them. I'll call them. I'll call them mid. I'll call them mid. They could turn things whoa, around. Right you now, saw how you saw what right uh, now, Trevor Lawrence buns, did today. Though. Oh, no, he's not buns. Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit of a stretch. That's a bit of a stretch. Um, <laughs> it's like that's his first win in his last ten starts. Dude. That was yeah. That's the definition of buns. That's like luck. You 20, could just call Trevor it luck. Lawrence. I mean, no, Trevor Lawrence went twenty-eight of thirty-four, three hundred and seventy-one yards. It's his two birthday. Touchdowns. It's his birthday. It was just luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wished shit. for it in the yeah, morning. He wished he for it, and that's it. So ne- ne- that's it. His wish is no. Over. I think I think they found some. They found some identity today. Tank Bigsby. Have we heard of this guy? Tank Bigsby, yeah. <laughs> three, 13 carries, 101 yards, two touchdowns. Dude, Seattle's a blind a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. <laughs> no, no. I mean, receiving five receptions, 122 yards for B. Thomas. I don't know who that is, B. Thomas. <laughs> you don't know Brian <laughs> Thomas Jr.? Brian from Thomas LSU. Never, okay, <laughs> rookie. But five receptions. Okay, rookie. Five receptions, 122 yards, and a touchdown. They found themselves an identity on offense today, and that's what we wanted to see. So I put them in that same trajectory as the Bengals that hey they started the season off kind of shaky but they could figure things out and get into that mid category honestly I wouldn't be surprised if they sneak into the playoffs by the way no. <laughs> dude you're all right so you want I don't understand can we that. can we put mid I'm not putting playoff yeah. ball I, I'll put I mid. I, mid no dude Jared what it's buns I, that's as high you as said buns. Go mid. I'm not no. going over buns it's buns it's all buns. right we gotta put buns we gotta put buns there's Jonathan, you could Jonathan, bi- you could bookmark buns. this and say you were the yeah. one Jags fan yeah, if they are close to making the playoffs, you could you could come out and okay. say I was wrong. Watch, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. 
<laughs> Tennessee Titans start off one and three. Who knows who their quarterback is? Mason Rudolph, Will Levis. I don't care. They are the definition of buns. Uh, yep, they're, they're buns. Yep. Titans going buns. buns. Buns, yep. All right. And lastly, Houston Texans. With that roster, that is Super Bowl contender for yes, me. I, I agree. That, they, can, they can go to the Super Bowl. They can go to the Super Bowl. You saw what they did today to the Bills. Oh, yeah. Like, um, D'Amico Ryan's. Excellent job. Excellent yeah. job. Yeah. I've seen enough of him. That was, a, that was a great coaching game. Great yes. coaching game. Yes. All right. Now we're on to the NFC and our favorite division. The Oh, wait, no, we're not. We're on the AFC. Uh, AFC division. West. Almost forgot about my own division. Uh, the AFC West goes as follows. We have the Chiefs undefeated. Broncos at 3-2. and two, Chargers at 2-2. Two and two, And Raiders at 2-3. and three. Let's go to the Broncos. Three and two. They've, I believe, they won three straight. Have they? They, they beat no, the Raiders. Two straight. They beat the Jets. Oh wait, yeah. And they beat the Broncos. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're three on a hot streak. Straight. They play the Chargers next in Denver. Dang it! Mm-hmm. I wish I could catch them at a different time. Um, I still think for them they're mid. And they they have a little bit of a hot streak, but I don't think they're making the playoffs in the AFC. There's just too many good teams, and I don't I don't really trust Bo Nix yet. So I'm going to put them in mid. If if I, this was me, Jonathan, what would you say? I would say playoff bubble. I was also going to say playoff bubble because yeah, they do. You could say this is just a lucky streak, but they're actually playing some good football. Bo Nix is actually playing smart. Sean Payton is playing smart. The defense is much better than it was last year. And look, they, I don't think they'll end up making the playoffs, but they are close enough to be able to put in that playoff bubble conversation. I think it's going to get to the last few games and they might get in. Probably not, but it'll be close. All right. Playoff bowl. Los Angeles Chargers. They had a bye this week. Play the Broncos next week, and they are two and three or two and two currently. Um, <clears throat> I am biased, so I would always like to lean on the side of optimism for my teams. So I am optimistic, and before the season started, I said wild card. This team's going to make the wild card. And by that definition, that means they're going to be playoff bubble. So I'm going to be playoff bubble for the Chargers, but I'm biased. So it's up to you guys. Yeah, I'd say playoff bubble too. Um, Their bye actually came at a great time, which was this week. Um, They actually, they needed it because Justin Herbert was hurt. They had Joey Bosa hurt. Hopefully they got some rest and they're going to be able to come back. But the Chargers do catch the Broncos at a rough time, but they did have a bye last week, so they literally watched the entire game. So I think that they're going to be able to probably beat the Broncos, but either way, for the rest of the season, I like what I saw from the Chargers. They won the first two games. They lost to the Steelers and Chiefs, which are two good teams, and yeah. Herbert kind of did have that ankle injury. But I, I like the Chargers, and they're definitely playoff bubble. They're going to be within a game of that like seventh spot. I'd have to disagree. The Chargers are mid, and oh. it really sucks. It really sucks for them because they're dealing with injury issues at the cusp of, you know, a division battle between the Chiefs and the Broncos. Well, really, the Broncos, to be honest, the Chiefs are going to win it. But the Broncos are playing good football, so then Chargers aren't making the playoffs, guys. They're mid. Yes, they had a convincing win against the Panthers. Really, um, they they beat the Raiders. Um, they haven't really faced too much of a challenge. I mean, the, t- the challenges they faced, they lost. We were also tied I, against the Steelers, and then Justin Herbert got hurt. So yeah. take that for what yeah, you will. So, in Pittsburgh. Yeah, so, and that's a big reason. Yeah, he's they're, he's going to be dealing with that all season. And that's the worst thing you'd want in a battle like this. They're mid. They're mid. not going to make the playoffs. I, I hate to I hate to break you. I wish Harbaugh made the playoffs in his first year back in the NFL. But uh, he's not going to make the playoffs. This is mid, in my opinion. But... I guess honestly, I think where, rules. <laughs> where where you guys think the Broncos are playoff football, I think that's where the Chargers are because I think the Broncos aren't going to stay this now that, hot. Now what that has I'm changed at, from last year? To, sorry to go ahead. No, now that now that Jonathan, you bring up good points. Now that I see their schedule and and I know that 
they had a bye, but Jonathan, you're right. This isn't an injury that Herbert's just going to like, it's not just going to go away. Um, yeah. I would actually, I could, I could be convinced to move them to mid. I do actually like the Broncos more rest of season than Chargers now that. What is this? I know. What, I'm what sorry. I'm sorry, but. What, what, it, what do you think has changed? It. Like what is, what has changed since last year to, you know, to this year so far for the Chargers? Like how are they better? Oh my god! Well, gosh. the defense is way better. The def- well, for one, the defense. Two, the running game. Are we are probably averaging over a hundred yards more than what we were last <laughs> year? So our run game is a lot better, and you're seeing guys like Quentin Johnson actually develop into a good player, and right. Lad McConkey, young good player. J.K. Dobbins, guy that we kind of wrote off after okay, yeah. two injuries. Point, All these guys are starting to show up, but yeah. Justin Herbert, that is his M.O. He is always injured in some capacity. Like last year he was injured. year before that he was injured. It's going to be tough, but I will say in a Jim Harbaugh offense, you don't need the quarterback to make amazing plays. You just need him to make timely, clutch plays when he calls your number. And recently, we really haven't had Herbert to be like, oh, we're down 14, we're down 21, you know, let's start passing the ball and get us out of here. No, we've actually controlled games. We've kept it close so that we don't have to go out of our identity, which is running the ball. But yeah, if you guys want to put him in mid, we'll put him in mid. Thoughts? Yeah, I, I, mid? I'm, I'm good with mid. Yeah. Fine. All right. You guys, any majority rules? All right. And we're going to the Raiders. Raiders are uh, two and three. They're about to trade Devontae Adams. Uh, they are buns for me. They're buns. Yeah, yeah. They're buns, and Devontae Adams they, knows it. That's why he's, that's why he wants. Yeah, out. I mean <laughs> they did beat the Ravens, but yeah, Devontae Adams is leaving. They they don't have much of a future. They already benched Minshew halfway through the game, for getting blown out by the Broncos. It's just they're buns. Yeah, yeah. Buns, yeah. And Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl contenders. Uh, All right, I'm just kidding. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> get out of here! Don't even. Uh, now we're on to the NFC. Let's go to the NFC East. We're gonna start off with the team that's playing right now while we're recording, the Dallas Cowboys. Jonathan's team. Um, I'm gonna say the Dallas Cowboys at two and two. Does anyone know what the score is right now? Is it uh, so far? The game hasn't started yet. They're in a weather delay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, so Cowboys two and two, they could be two and three, or they could be three and two by the end of this. Um, (laughs) look, Cowboys always make the playoffs. So I feel comfortable putting them in playoff bound, but I'll be damned if Jonathan, you get me to put them in Super Bowl contender because it ain't happening. Playoff bound, John. No, Jared, you're way too optimistic. This team is <laughs> too high. <laughs> you're way too optimistic. This team is I would I you might be able to convince me playoff bubble. I was going to say mid. <laughs> oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. But I'll say I'll say playoff bubble. <laughs> mid? There, there's no way you could confidently say that this team is playoff bound. There's no way. It's the Cowboys. Dude, the defense is the defense is they terrible. Always Parsons make the playoffs, out. Though. DeMarcus Lawrence out. No, they don't owe it. This is the year. They're not going to... The division is good this year. They can't hold on. They oh, can't. Boy. Just, oh, um, boy. It is playoff bubble for this team. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> Guys, the NFC is wide open. For, for It's up for grabs. Okay. There's so much talent across all, all these different teams. It's up for grabs. There's no dominant team other than, like, okay, the Vikings won the first five games. Yay. But other than them... It's pretty wide open. So the Cowboys have the best talent with Dak Prescott. <laughs> no, they with the highest paid, with the, with the Dak Prescott is one of the top tiered um, paid quarterbacks out there. C.D. Lamb, okay. Um, Market <laughs> Parsons is going to come back. Um, D. Lawson is back hurt. injured right now. That's part of the reason. Like you know, probably Mike Parsons is probably playing through injury the first few games and stuff. He, he's, they're going to get healed up soon. The Cowboys are the best team in terms of talent. They just have to put the things together. Okay. And so, other than who's the Vikings... Sec- who's your second best receiver? So, Cooks is injured right now. He's on IR. Uh, yeah. He's not, he's not, no, he's not. Yeah. I thought he just... Yeah, I th- no, I think he's missing a week. because He's on injured, injured right? reserve, out at least four weeks. 
true? <laughs> well, <laughs> you that's... look. You have look, Jonathan. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's I know telling the truth. Jonathan, oh, I know that you want to hold out hope, but Parsons is out. Demarcus Lawrence is out. Brandon Cooks is out. Look, you have no run game. Yes, Dak is good. CD is good. Jake Ferguson is good. That's it. Zeke sucks. He's buns. Dowdle is mid. You have no Cooks. run game. You Dalvin you Cooks. cannot take the pressure off Dak. And the defense isn't good enough to stop the other team. Trust me, you guys are... If you make the playoffs... I would honestly be like surprised, but I'm going to put you at playoff bubble to make you happy, but I'm sorry. Coaching. The coaching cannot overcome these okay. mi- these you're right. injuries. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was, I mean, I was arguing all this for really playoff, uh, playoff bound, in my opinion, playoff bound, not, not bubble. Playoff bound. Mm. Super Bowl. I, I can't, I can't be convinced for playoff bound. You can, can I, I, I'll go playoff bubble because you're, you, you did make a good point in the fact that the NFC is wide open. I mean, that the 49ers guys who went to the Super Bowl last year are the third worst statistical team in the NFC right now. Yeah. Now, yeah, we expect them to pick it back up. But, Jonathan, you're right. This NFC is wide open. I just don't see the Cowboys, like, taking command. I, I, I honestly well, see the Eagles more taking command because they just— they're getting players back from injury. A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith are going to come back after the bye. So I see the Eagles stepping up more than I do the Cowboys. Yeah, and I said playoff bound. I'm probably still thinking Super Bowl contender for the Cowboys because again, Whoa. even though the Vikings, even though the Vikings are undefeated, I know it's coming. We know what they do. We know, yeah, we all, you, we all know what they do in the playoffs. The first round, going to get blown out. I mean, that's just how it goes <laughs> with the Vikings. <laughs> that's so why I said is, playoff bound. They're they're going to make the playoff. They're always uh, in it because they embarrass themselves when they get in there. Who's going to embarrass Jayden themselves? Daniels, Jaden Daniels, this is called this is what you call a rookie high. Yes, he's won the first four or so games, and I think they'll continue to do decent. But when it's time to win those final games and stuff, the experience matters. Dak Prescott has been there multiple times. Yeah, the Cowboys are making the playoffs for sure. That's for All sure. Right. So well, I don't mind. We I don't have, mind doing playoff bound. Yeah, we have two playoff bound. John, you can die on this hill for playoff you guys, bubble. I'm gonna mid. come. I'm gonna pull this clip back up. Hey, if the Cowboys don't make it, this will not be the last time we talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> just true. like you know, we won't have to pull this clip up. Uh, New York Giants are next. They are two and three, and they just got a win over the Seahawks. Uh, they pl- they blocked the Seahawks' kick that would have uh, extended the game. Wouldn't have won the game, but it would have extended the game. Um, look, the Giants with Malik Neighbors have been impressive. They then go and hold the Seahawks to under their average for total yards. Without Malik Neighbors, they win a game. Without Devin Singletary, they win this game. If you would have told me in the beginning of the season that I wouldn't put the Giants in buns, I would have said you're crazy because beginning of the season, this this team looked awful. Um, but I think there's a slight chance because they're in the NFC that they're in mid. And I, I, I think if Malik Neighbors comes back a little healthy – I would put them in mid right now because they're in the mm-hmm. NFC and they can win a lot of games. Uh, but I can't, there's no way they're making the playoffs this year. But they've won two games and very impressive games. So mid for me. I have to agree. I think that's excellent. The Giants are mid. They've shown it. They've saved themselves from embarrassment. Yeah. yeah now they're like decent. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so mid. Yeah, I call them mid. A decent mid team. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. The Giants are mid right now. All right, we're going on to the J- the Eagles, who are 2-2. Two and two. Unfortunately, Caleb, our Eagles fan, is not here. So uh, this should be interesting if Caleb listens to this back. Uh, man, oh, man. The one big thing with the Eagles, and we've heard it from Caleb, turnovers from Jalen Hurts, and this defense is booty cheeks. It is not good. It is Swiss cheese, and it's concerning. And in the beginning of the season, I had them as Super Bowl contenders, and I'm going to drop them down to playoff bubble. Playoff bubble. Wow. This defense is bad. Jalen Hurts is not playing well. Where is A.J. Brown? Devonta Smith ain't coming back anytime soon. This is the Barkley show all over again like he's in New York City. Um, and it's it's sad to see because I wanted to see Barkley on a good team. Um, but I'm going to be worrying about this Eagles defense all year. 
And that means I'm going to be worrying about them making the playoffs. So playoff bubble is where I'm comfortable putting them. I agree. I agree. Playoff bubble. Um, they have enough talent to find a way to make the playoffs. But uh, at the same time, if they're not careful, if Sirianni doesn't fix things, which I do think is an overrated coach, like I've said, if he doesn't fix things quickly, they may get surprised by the commanders who may win the division. The Cowboys may figure things out and start winning games. Yeah. They, I, they could easily very well miss the playoffs, which would be a disappointment with all the talent they have, all these defensive talent that they have from Georgia, Jalen Hurts, <laughs> Barkley. I mean, if they don't make the playoffs, Sirianni should be gone because this is ridiculous. Team, you know, you know what teams would do with this talent? And look at them just mess around with it. Yeah. Um, the playoff bubble. Um, no, they're 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 definitely playoff bound. Look, they haven't had AJ Brown yet this year. Devonta Smith was knocked out of the last game with a concussion. Yeah, they lost to the Buccaneers. Look, they lost to the Falcons by one. They did lose to the Buccaneers by a lot, which was was not great. But they beat the Saints when the Saints guys remember the first two weeks of the season. The Saints looked unbeatable. People were talking Super Bowl contenders, and then the next week, Eagles win. At the Saints. In week one, they beat the Packers. Packers are a good team. Look, they're going to come back from the bye, and they're going to beat the Browns by 20, at least, guys. Now, then they play the Giants. They're going to beat us, unfortunately. They play Bengals. They still got to play the Jaguars. They got to play the Panthers. Look, this team is going to make the playoffs. Now, yeah, you might be able to convince me playoff bubble, Guys, there's three wild card spots in this NFC, and it and there's we it's the NFC guys. They're gonna make the playoffs. Okay, I mean I'm I, I'm not gonna I'm a bit convinced by John's argument. Um, looking at their schedule, thinking about what he said about Devontae Smith and AJ Brown, I can see him as playoff bound. Playoff bound, yeah. I just feel like they're more they're leaning they're leaning this season more so towards wild card than they are division winners which is kind of where i want to put playoff bound teams like di- almost division winners but well then who do you think is going to win this division it's tough <laughs> right now. it's tough it's either the eagles it, or the commanders right so if you think it's the com- if you think it's the eagles then you then they would be playoff bound otherwise yeah. if you think it's commanders you're going to be putting them as playoff bound yeah right yeah i i'll put eagles playoff bound since you guys agreed. Um, but I, it's worrying. It's like one of my least yeah, I'd confident. Say, I'd say I'd say that's fair. Um, Washington Commanders, everybody knows him. Everybody loves him. Jaden Daniels, highest selling jersey this year. Commanders are four and one. They've beaten who, did, who have they beaten? I want to, to get a list of this. They Giants. beat the Browns. They beat the Giants. They beat the Cardinals. They beat the Bengals and lost to the Bucks. Now, oh, this is tough for me because we all know the, N- the NFC East trend. Last year was the Cowboys. They won. So now this year it can't be the Cowboys to win the division. And that left me with the Eagles and the Commanders. Now, I pick Eagles just because they their roster was stacked. This Commanders team is legit. And I did like them before the season. I really did because they got a lot of veterans. Bobby Wagner on defense. Um, they have two of the best D tackles, Deron Payne and um, Jonathan Allen. So the defense is really, really good. And I didn't think the offense could keep up. This offense can keep up. They can score points. They're efficient. Jaden Daniels is one of the best deep ball throwers I've seen. Um, look, the way they start, I, I, I'm going to wait till my screen unfreezes, and then I'm going to say <laughs> playoff bound. <laughs> I'm going to put them in playoff bound. Okay. Um that's a that's a good argument, Jared, but I think this is a trap. And I don't think that they're playoff bound. I I I would be very confident in saying saying playoff bubble. They're not going to win the division. I think the Eagles are still going to win the division. Um yes, they've played well so far, but they beat the Browns who everybody's beaten the Browns. They beat the Cardinals. 
The Cardinals have been playing good, not great. They beat the Bengals. That was a good win. Beat the Giants. That was, that's not a great win. Anyway, they play at the Ravens next. That's when I think they're going to show their true colors. I think that it's going to be a decently close game. I think the Ravens will come out. But guys, they they have a tough regular season schedule. They got to play the Eagles twice still. They haven't played the Cowboys yet. They got to play them twice. They got to play the Saints, the Falcons, the Steelers. I think that you could say playoff bound for this team, but I think it's going to end up being playoff bubble. They're going to end up in that like six or seven wild card spot. Yeah, I would, I would agree. I would say playoff bubble for them because, yeah, they mm. do have a tough schedule. They did have a really convincing um, win against the Cardinals, which is very, it was very impressive. But, you know, He's still a rookie in Jaden Daniels, and I think he may struggle against a good Ravens defense. Um, I think uh, Commanders versus Bears will be a good match. They have the Steelers, Eagles, Cowboys. You know, yeah. So they can very well lose. You know, a few like four or five games this season, um, and find themselves on the edge of making the playoffs. So I'd, I'd say playoff bubble. I don't think they can win the division, even though they're leading it. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think they're going to win division. All right, we'll go playoff bound. Or sorry, playoff bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll die on that hill. Uh, let's move on to the NFC North. The NFC North, the Vikings, are the only undefeated team in the NFL besides the Chiefs. Or they're only, they're the undefeated, only undefeated in the NFC. Yep. Um, but Vikings five and zero, Lions three and one, Bears three and two, and Packers three and two. Great division. Let's start off with the Lions at three and one. Uh, Lions for me, got to put them in Super Bowl contender. Not, not. I mean, the way they played last year. Um, yeah, I think they're Super Bowl contenders. I'm gonna put them in Super Bowl contenders as well. I think you know a three one three and one start to the season is pretty good. They played very well against the Seahawks. Rams, Cardinals, they beat. They lost to the Bucks. I think they're going to get stronger as the season goes on, but with the, that two-headed backfield of Gibbs and Montgomery, J-Mo in the pass game has opened up. Laporta's still there. Amonra. It's really going to be about that secondary. That D-line has been good the last two years. It's really about that secondary. And at this point, we're talking... We, we all know that they're playoff bound. Um, yeah. So now the question is, can they compete for the Super Bowl? And what they did last season in the playoffs showed us that they could get to the Super Bowl. So, yep, Super Bowl contenders. Yeah, I agree. I think they're Super Bowl contenders. All right, let's go on to the Minnesota Vikings, one of the hottest teams in football. Uh, look, as much as I hate to do it, can't deny a 5-0 and start beating teams like the Texans, beating teams uh, like the 49ers. Teams that uh, we put the Texans in Super Bowl contenders, I imagine the 49ers would be in Super Bowl contender. They're beating Super Bowl contenders. Can they keep it up? I don't know, but I have to at least put them in playoff bound the way they started. Yeah, um, I have the, the exact same thoughts. Like They are beating great teams, and that defense looks legit, and Darnold has been playing pretty darn good. Um, but again, I, I just... Like Jonathan, I, I can't see Darnold clutching up in those in those games, but I, I you have to respect the five and zero start, so playoff bound. Yeah, I enough said. I agree with both what you said. Playoff All bound. right, Green Bay Packers, three and two. Jordan Love is back. Malik Willis held down the fort. Was two and zero. Now Jordan Love's back. They lost a close one to the Vikings, and then this week they win a close one against the Rams. Um, this is a tough one for me. I can't decipher if they are playoff bound or playoff bubble. And I think I'm leaning towards playoff bubble only because of the division that they're in is it's so tough. The bears are also three and two. Um, it's tough division. It's just really tough, and I, I just don't know if they have enough to get over the hump. Um, so I would put playoff 
bubble. I wouldn't be surprised if they they just, you know, things just the chips didn't fall for them and they missed the playoffs barely. Um, but yeah, I'm, I would I would go playoff bubble. I'm gonna disagree with you on that because I was honestly deciding between Super Bowl contender and playoff bound. No, uh, this is this is a good team. It, oh come on, this is a no, good team. No, no, no. Um, the one the one weakness is their defense, but the offense is legit. It's really good. Uh, with Tucker Craft, Josh Jacobs, Wicks, Reed, Watson, Dobbs, you know, they didn't play this past week, but did you see what this team did in the playoffs last year? Like, Jordan Love is legit, and when you look at the games that they played, week one, Jordan Love got hurt, and they only lost by five to the Eagles. Okay, so that's that's not a bad loss. They beat the Colts without Love. They beat the Titans without Love. Love mm-hmm. comes back last week, and yeah, they did lose to the Vikings, but he was still trying to get his feet under him. And then they go to L.A., beat the Rams. I think they're going to beat the Cardinals at home next week. Then they play the Texans. I, That's a sneaky good game. I think that the Packers could come out there. Then they play the Jaguars. Then Lions at home. Then they get a bye, play the Bears, etc. But this team's going to make the playoffs, guys. They are they are legit. They they have a great coach. The coaching is second yeah, to Yeah, I'm none. confident LaFleur. in the coaching. I'm just yeah. not confident in the play, I think, is what I'm, yeah. what I'm concerned about. I mean, Jonathan, what do you think? Because... They did do well against the Cowboys in the playoffs last year. Like, they did have a great end to the season. They, they did. They did. But, yeah, if you look at the games they have left, um, they could very well miss the playoffs. The Cardinals are hot coming. Like, they beat a strong 49ers team, the Cardinals did. So what makes you think they can't beat the Packers like that, given the 49ers mm-hmm. beat the Packers, you know, last year in the playoffs? Um, so they could lose to the Cardinals. They could lose to the Texans. The Jaguars, you guys think they suck. Um, I mean, they have been playing bad, but I think they could turn things around. But let's say they lose that one. The Lions, they play. They're Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. Then they play the Bears. Kev Williams, and Bears are going up. Starting to win games. He's starting to find his footing. So, And they play 49ers. They could, they could lose several of these games, John. And so that's why yeah, playoff bowl is probably the best. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they... I think last year they were about like two games above 500 or a game above 500, like they weren't dominant. And that's that's kind of like the feeling that I have with this team is like they weren't don't the Cowboys, dominate. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Were, the, were the Cowboys number one, were they number one or were number two seed the last, last year? I think Cowboys five? were four. Oh, number four. Were they okay. four? Okay, yeah. Yeah, and Packers were five because the um, okay, were, Lions okay. won the division. Okay. Yeah, so I it, that's how I feel. I feel like they're like a two or a game above 500 team yeah, that's, because that's of fair. the coaching um there's just no like star power which could could be good because you don't know who to defend but yeah like it, that, that's why i feel like it's so jonathan you would go playoff bubble yeah i'd say playoff bubble yeah all right we have two playoff bubbles john so fair enough um chicago bears this is an interesting one we have caleb williams rookie quarterback actually getting his feet under him winning Back to back games, uh, they are three and two. Uh, looks like they beat the Panthers and the Rams, so not the best uh, teams to beat, and they're not impressive. But for a rookie quarterback, you love to see it. Do you think this team is playoff bound? Do you think they're even in the playoff talks? Beginning of the season, I said yes. After seeing things, they need some time. It's going to be about a year or two, and it sucks. But I think Caleb Williams is going to have a great year. Like, it, he got it pretty quick. Um, it only took him about two games. So it's going to be a fun season. They'll have a lot of upsets. It'll be a, a good improvement from last year. Um, but... Uh, someone else take it. Yeah. Shoot! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with mid. This team... I I I want to say playoff bubble. Yeah, because I, I'm a, I do. I do. I know. I do. I'm a Caleb Williams fan. I yeah. do like how he's played, but this team is mid, guys. the The one thing that is going for them is their defense has actually played really well. But listen to this stretch. They they have from November 17th to the rest of the season, which is week 11. They play Packers, Vikings, Lions, 49ers, Vikings, Lions, Seahawks, Packers. It's just a two. It's the division. It's too it's, tough. it's it's brutal. It's way it's too, too tough. brutal. Yeah, it's, they're, yeah they're, mid. They're mid. Mid. Yeah, I agree. They're mid. They're mid. They're mid. 
they're going up, but yeah, they are. They're, they're on easily, the up. Yeah, they could easily lose several of these games. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the Vikings came out of the woodworks and are red hot with a old Sam. Well, not old, but just a uh, washed old quarterback Sam Darnold, and all of a sudden he's he's slinging it around the field. It's just really unfortunate. Uh, it's very unlucky. Uh, let's go to the NFC West Seahawks, Cardinals, 49ers and Rams. Seahawks are in first at three and two Cardinals are two and three, 49ers are two and three and Rams at the bottom at one at one and four. Let's start with the Rams. Uh, look without Cooper cup and without Puka Nakua, this team is in the bun section. It's just shown with their, with their record. It's reflected on their record. So I would put them in buns. I agree. I'd say buns. Yeah, I mean, based on how they're playing now, you have to put them in buns, but we all know that Cup will be back after their bye. Puka will be back the week after. So this team will be, I think, will end up being mid the whole season. But as of right now, they are playing like buns. Okay. How about the Seattle Seahawks? A heartbreaking loss to the New York Giants. Uh, Geno Smith has actually been playing really well. It was just an off game for them, but uh, they're first in the division, folks. So not a ba- as bad of a start as as we all thought. Um, <laughs> atop a division that has the 49ers in it, so you must have had a good start. Uh, I think based off of that and based off how this offense is playing, um, I'm going to say that they are mid I don't think they're nah, going to make the playoffs. Uh, that's a bit of, are you mid. serious? That's a bit <laughs> yeah. of a No, I, I'm to joke with this, but I, I was thinking probably, mid, honestly. What? You guys are dude. kidding. How no, mid? dude, listen, Jonathan, let me in, in, enlighten you on something. Please. <laughs> Ready? The first three games of the season, they were 3-0. and They beat Broncos, Patriots, Dolphins. Not great, okay. right? The last well, two games, they lost to the Lions and Giants. Listen to their next four games before the bye. 49ers, Falcons, Bills, Rams. Then they come off of the bye, 49ers. They still got to play the Jets, the Packers, the Vikings. This team has some tough matchups, and I I honestly would say they're mid right now. Yeah. No, I mean, they, yeah, you're right. They have some tough tough match matchups, John and Jared, but, like, Gino is experienced. Yes, they've they've lost a couple games. Um, the teams like haven't they haven't played well. Uh, they lost to the Lions. That was a pretty tough one. The, the Seahawks uh, when they lost to the Giants today. That was a pretty tough one. But the Giants had their best game like all season. One of their very best all season, which is not gonna happen every week. The Seahawks didn't. So I think with a quarterback like this that has a great offense and that doesn't make much mistakes, um, I think they can find themselves in the playoff bubble category, okay? The 49ers okay. could continue to lose. Um, Cardinals could, you know, like we've seen them get blown out by the commanders. They could lose. All these teams are easily, you know, beatable. It's not, I don't think it's a for sure thing to say Seahawks are mid, knowing that Gino's experienced. He's been to the playoffs. He he knows how to, he knows how to get this offense going. Kenneth Walker is there. Um, I think it's playoff bubble. I'm not saying the playoff bound, but playoff bubble in the sense that they could win a few more games to, you know, fight for a playoff spot. I wouldn't call them mid. Like, it's it's like there's no hope. That's what mid in my mind is. Like, they're they're one of those teams that are playing well, but there's no hope. They're not really gonna make the playoffs. They, so do this, you, this team could. So, if if we put them in playoff bubble, right? Yep. Yeah. Then where do you put the Cardinals? Because I I would put the Cardinals in mid along with the Seahawks, and then the 49ers would be the division winners that we would put, you know, in the playoffs. But who do you think would come in second in the, in this division? Right, because yeah. whoever like, comes who, like, in second is probably going to be playoff bubble. So do I you, agree. should we put the Seahawks or do you want the Cardinals in playoff bubble? I want the, right. I it want has the, to be one or the other. So you guys think 49ers are going to win this division? 
Yeah. <laughs> Unless you think the Seahawks. Dude, they're they're one game back. It's You're not, laughing, it's, Jerry, but it's one, the 49ers it's one aren't game. playing like they're not dominating. They lost to the Cardinals today. D- dude, they so, don't. Uh, everybody's they losing. Get, everybody, everybody's losing right now. I can't make a take for anybody, <laughs> but I just, I, I'm trying to look ahead. And with the talent that they have, it's better than the Seahawks, unfortunately. Yeah, talking, in terms of talent, you can't just look at talent, Jared. Like, Didn't we just w- say talent for one of the other teams? <laughs> <laughs> you literally said that. I was like, just based <laughs> off a of talent, you said the Cowboys are the most talented team. Well, not so, to jump ahead, but 49ers are playoff bubble in my mind. I wouldn't call them a Super Bowl. Bubble? Uh, best, B- yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. team's dude, made what the you, Super Bowl dude, what are you twice. on? What are you Look on? at the card. Did you see the game today? Did you see the games the past couple? Dude, it, uh, the kicker was hurt. The kicker got uh, hurt. Are you kidding? Right, now I'm using excuses, they, huh? No, oh, dude. <laughs> they, what do you want him to do? No. No. What do you want him to do? Enough. They would have had two more field goals. They would have won easily. Would you would've... would you would put your money on Seahawks making the playoffs rather than the 49ers who have made like five straight NFC championships? Well, I can honestly I can see both of them on playoff bubble. Seahawks, <laughs> what? 49ers and Cardinals. In my mind, playoff bubble, all of them. All three. That's impossible. <laughs> we can't do that. We can't, well, can't do that. that. No. No. Oh, we can't do that. I, I will I will say if if we had to put one of these teams and one of the Seahawks or Cardinals in playoff bubble, I would lean towards Seahawks. I'm not putting Cardinals in playoff bubble at all, in my opinion. And John, yeah, I would I would agree. I would say if I had to choose between if, Seahawks and Cardinals, one of them I would say Seahawks are more playoff bubble. Yep, and then Cardinals is the mid team. Yes, and, and then, then 49ers, 49ers are playoff. Bound, if not Super Bowl, I, no, contenders. they're Super Bowl contenders. No, no, they have yes, to be. They are. They, they are. Have to be. They are. Y'all see the past couple it's games. Why y'all, I, dude? They don't have McCaffrey. The you're kicker got off, hurt. You're going Is off McCaff- the past couple that, games. Thank you for helping me. Is McCaffrey coming back? Yeah, they said we gate. Mate, he went to he went to get treatment in Germany. No, he he's went to get a second opinion, not treatment. I won't. I mean, well, he's not going to be the same. Even if he does come back, he's not going to be the same as he was last. Jonathan, we're basing. Yes, he is. We're basing our opinion off of like the last six years. Yeah, you're basing is, off this, of there's two there's games. a lot of statistics on this. McCaffrey was the key last year for the 49ers. He was gone. They lost. They've made it really. without. They him. They made it to the Super Bowl make, without McCaffrey. They're not going to do that this year. I'm and t- the, it was Jimmy Garoppolo. Not Jordan Brock Mason Kirby. is like second in rushing yards. I think they're fine. Didn't he fumble they, today? No. no Okay, one mistake. Come on, guys. Played. Come on, guys. <laughs> you can't say one fumble is the reason is they're not the going to make Bowl? the playoffs. It was against the Cardinals. They were every, barely playing. They, uh, dude, they, <laughs> every game matters. The it's kicker early. got hurt, dude. Nobody, you know what he said, John? Every game matters. This is the guy who said oh, first I game you, I thought you said week matter. two. Did the 49, the wrong, wait, didn't the 49ers lose to the Rams? Uh, Thank you. Thank you. No, I don't think so. They lost no, to the Rams, 40, didn't they? 49ers yeah, lost yeah, to they the they Vikings. Did. They did lose to the Rams. When? Okay, this year? Did... Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's a bad start. See what I'm saying? See Look, it's a I'm bad saying? start. They lost to the Vikings. They lost to the Rams. Yeah, Look, start. they didn't no, have they no, didn't no, have no, Debo no. The or Kittle. They didn't have Debo or Kittle against the Rams. <sighs> We're using excuses for these guys. <laughs> matter the talent. You're talking We're about the McCaffrey. Playoff, yeah. My point. My no, point. No, my point dude, is no. My point is McCaffrey has been the best player. Was the, this was is the best crazy. Was the, they're the one of the most was, consistent teams. Yeah, they're no, one of the most. The reason, the reason they were all so consistent and they did well last year and went to the Super Bowl is because McCaffrey. He's not coming back. But really. they've been if, to the if, Super if Bowl without him. They've been a top five NFC team for the last eight years. Mm-hmm. Well, we're talking about Brock Purdy here. Okay. Exactly. Now he's he's the best quarterback they've had in the last ten years. No, oh, that's a bit of a stretch. Now, Come what? Well, who's fair. better than him? Who's what quarterback? Right, better we got to move on. Garoppolo. No, oh. I take Garoppolo yeah. over Purdy any day. Oh, I can't Garoppolo. wait to cut this up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> this, all right, all right, gotta, let, fine. Let's fine. Let's let's let's, let's the let's agree to disagree. Playoff bubble. No, no, you. <laughs> wait, that was, wait, this hold on. Your suggestion. Us, us two said Super Bowl contenders. You said playoff bubble. So we're meeting wait, in wait, the middle wait. at playoff. Y'all bound. said Super Bowl contenders. I thought yeah. y'all said playoff bound. No, How y'all, Super Bowl. What are y'all looking at? These are to the Cardinals. You say Super Bowl contenders. Super y'all, Bowl bound. Didn't this team make oh. the Super Bowl last year? They have the same players. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, yeah. McCaffrey, 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 McCaffrey. <laughs> McCaffrey he's is coming not there. Back. He's coming he's back. Not, he's, he's not going to be the same, John. He's their MVP. 
He's not gonna be the same. That's my point. Oh you guys haven't seen it. Oh my gosh, they don't. Brock you don't need a close. running back to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, you don't. It's proven. You don't need a running back you to need win to run, the Super Bowl. You, you need to run the ball well. Yeah, yeah, you do. What do you mean? You Jordan Mason's good enough. Yeah, good Mason's enough. good enough. They went to the Super Bowl. We're, with Eli we're meeting Mitchell. in the middle. Playoff bound. Wait, right? wait, 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 wait. Didn't they lose to the Bears? The Rams lost to the Bears, and who did the Rams beat? The 49ers? Did... All right, the Rams, we can do this. The Raiders lost 41 the to 10. The Rams lost 41 to 10 to the Cardinals, and who'd they beat? They beat the 49 Guys, what are y'all talking about? You can, the, the kicker was the hurt. The kicker was hurt. You can go through the whole thing. You can go through the whole nine, all right? Okay. Crazy. Um, <laughs> let's go to the NFC South. This one should be easy. Wait, we didn't do. Wait, oh, so we put Seahawks in playoff bound. Yep, and, and Cardinals, Cardinals in mid. Okay, and then who- wait, wait, what? Wait, you wait. So Seahawks is Seahawks playoff bubble. Playoff bubble. Yeah, 49ers playoff bound. C- uh, Cardinals in mid. So now we're in the NFC South. Uh, with Falcons at three and two, Bucks at three and two, Saints at two and two, and Panthers at one and four. Uh, let's start off with the Bucks at three and two. Red hot offense. Baker Mayfield's finally in his home. He is comfortable. He's clicking with every receiver. Godwin, Mike Evans. Um, look, when you're in the NFC South, you have a chance at the division. So. <laughs> it's it's yeah. playoff bubble for me for every almost every one of these teams. I agree. In my opinion, I agree. I agree. it's like you can't say playoff bound because they could easily come in last at like seven and nine no, or win the I'm, or win I'm the gonna, division at eight and nine. I'm gonna disagree with that. I'm Ooh, gonna Panthers say be bums, but. what? Yeah, Panthers will be buns. Panthers, Panthers right. buns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pan- Let's well, put them there. Panthers buns. Panthers buns. But yep. I think there is a team that separates. It's is starting to separate themselves, and it's Falcons. the Atlanta Falcons. Oh They've, come on! Yeah, they beat the Bucks. They beat the Saints, guys. So they already beat the two teams in their division. Yet yeah. it was at home. It was at home. So I know that they're going to have to go on the road to those teams. The Falcons with Justin yes. Simmons, with Matt yep. Judon. No, this defense, legit. the defense is, is set. Guys, Bijan hasn't <laughs> popped off yet. Bijan's been solid. This team is playoff bound. They're definitely, if they don't win the division, I can confidently say they'll get a wild card. Yeah. Yep. The guys, the playoff bubble. You, you guys, the games, they're talking about the Bucks and the Saints. Those were like one score games. They, you know, it was a close game. They went to overtime in the Bucks game. They could have easily lost those games. We'd have, be having a different conversation. Okay. If it was a convincing win, then we'd have be having it. It'd be a different story. But guys, you like Jerry was saying, these are all playoff bubbles except Panthers, Falcons included. Yes, no. um, they're looking better dude, than this half is the past. Kirk, dude, this is Kirk Cousins' first four games with the team. He's just starting to. He just beat two <laughs> divisional opponents. He's just starting to heat up. Yeah, yeah, he he really I, is. He's comfortable. He's he's he started the season uh, first four games. Almost identical stats to Desmond Ritter, their old quarterback. And then he played this game. He must have saw that they compared him to Desmond Ritter because the next game plays against the Bucks and throws 509 yards. He so, set a franchise record. Yeah. No, Nobody he, in Falcons history has had that many passing yards in a game. It, they separate themselves. I still, I still don't know if I would clearly put them playoff bound because this, this division is so tight because they're all like – the same like i i wouldn't be able to separate one of them i can see the saints winning the division the bucks or the falcons um but i could be convinced to put the falcons at playoff bound but i probably wouldn't put anybody else at playoff bound so I, what about the bucks bucks playoff bubble yeah bucks playoff bubble i would say that i'm more confident in the bucks than the saints but i could i would still put the saints in the bubble just because it's the nfc saints in the playoff bubble and then falcons you want to put playoff bound yes if we're put if guys if we're I think putting you the, can... if we're putting the cowboys and eagles who are playing worse than the falcons, no, i agree that's what i want like, to say then the falcons should be playoff bound yeah i think you're right overruled by by me <laughs> <laughs> so I just putting, needed to convince one person. We're, yeah, yeah, we're, we're putting Falcons. All right, so that's it. 
Just yeah. about, or just a little yeah, over an hour. Yeah. So wait. All right. So there's only basically like ten teams that we think can win the Super Bowl. The so four it, that are go, in the Super Bowl. Let's contender. go through them quick. So in Super Bowl contenders, four teams: Baltimore Ravens, Houston Texans, Kansas City Chiefs, and Detroit Lions. Playoff bound: six teams: Bills, Cowboys, Eagles, Vikings. 49ers and Falcons. Those are two, four, six, eight, ten teams that we think confidently are going to be in the playoffs. So, ten teams set aside. If you're fans of them, be happy. Pat yourself on the back because you made the playoffs. <laughs> Playoff bubble, you're going to be biting your nails all the way up until week 18. There's Jets, Bengals, Steelers, Broncos. Commanders, Packers, Seahawks, Bucks, and Saints. A lot of teams on the bubble. Mid, these teams don't have a, they're not going to make the playoffs. Colts, Chargers, Giants, Bears, Cardinals. Just me saying Chargers is not right, but whatever. And then Buns, <laughs> Patriots, Browns, Dolphins, Jags, Titans, Raiders, Rams, and Panthers. That's a good list for I three. Like it. Individual people with individual opinions and biased opinions all over the place. That's a good list. Yes, I'm happy with it. It's a good list. Good list. Is there one thing that sticks out to you as wrong? Maybe Cowboys not in Super Bowl contender. I no. still, I still <laughs> disagree with the Packers. As uh, if I would disagree with <laughs> any one thing here. It was Packers. I, w- I would say Packers got to be in that playoff. Band, mine's but... mine's my own team, the Chargers for sure. <laughs> Jonathan, you think Cowboys should be Super Bowl contender? No, that's oh honest, no. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm playing like it. All right, fair like enough. It. Did the game start? I don't, I don't no, have the game still up. Not, it has yeah. not. It has not. Oh my god, this game's gonna start at one a.m. <laughs> um. All right, perfect. This is this is great. We I didn't we didn't miss any of the game. We did our whole podcast. Um. All right. Hope you hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed uh, episode five, week five of the Dorn Bay podcast. Uh, we tried something a little bit different with this tier list. Hopefully, it was fun to to watch along here. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcast, hopefully it was enjoyable for you, even though you didn't see the tier list. But if you want to see it, hop over to the YouTube and hit that subscribe button. And watch the video. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, please rate us a five star review. If you haven't followed us over on TikTok and on Instagram at Dorn Bay Podcast, please throw us a follow over on there. We make a ton of content, uh, short form content over there that is super fun. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we will see you guys next week. <laughs>